Greetings, scientists, and welcome back to Pattern Vision. Last week, we looked for patterns in nature observing with our sense of sight. We probably use this sense the most when observing patterns. However, we can also use our other senses, such as what we can hear, touch, or smell. As always, in order to be safe, today we will not be using our sense of taste. Have you ever been in your garden, or outside playing, or out on a walk and heard a lot of birds but couldn't really see them? A lot of birds like to hide out in tall grasses, trees, and shrubs. This provides protection from predators and is also a great food source for seeds, fruit, and insects. Many times you can hear the birds but not see them. Birds communicate by using many different sounds Many even sing. They do this to give warning when there's danger, or to claim territory, or even to tell their families where they are hiding so they can find each other. Even though many are hiding from us and we cannot see them, we can still use our sense of hearing to observe birds. Each type or species of bird makes its own sound. In fact, if we listen carefully enough, we can even make a claim about how many different types or species of birds there are around us even if we can't see them. Your first challenge is to listen to this audio track I made in the woods at Pambos. See if you can use your sense of hearing to find patterns in these bird calls. How many different species can you hear? Are you ready to observe how many birds there are only by listening? Let's go. How many different types of birds did you observe with your sense of hearing? I've created a place for you to put your answer at the top right side of the student template in Seesaw. It looks like this, but is a lot smaller. Hello kids, Mother Nature here, reminding you to always respect nature. When observing leaves, try to observe carefully without tearing them off. Leaves are like kitchens. They use sunlight to make food for plants and trees. Also, if you find some interesting critters out there, please be careful when you pick them up and always, always put them back in the exact same spot where you found them. Well, that's all for now. Enjoy that patter vision with Mr. Corey. Now it's your turn to observe patterns in nature without using your eyes. Your second challenge is to notice patterns from what you hear, touch, and smell. Find a special spot in your garden, at a park, or another nice place that's outdoors if you can. If you don't have a garden and can't leave your home, it's okay. Feel free to observe out of a window and check out any plants or other nature items that are inside your home. If you observe close enough, nature is all around. Next, you're going to use your senses of hearing touching and smelling to observe patterns in nature from your special spot and record your observations in this table which is placed in your student template in Seesaw. Your job is to come up with three things that you can hear, three things that you can touch, and three things that you can smell. Of course you can always add more if you want to. Don't forget to be descriptive just like scientists are. Some of you did a fantastic job last week using precise and descriptive language. Instead of just saying there were more babies, some of you were very descriptive and said the mallard family has seven babies and the coot family has six babies. Or, instead of saying they are different colors, some of you said the coots are mostly black and the mallards are mostly brown. Notice the difference in detail? Nature is not just about animals. It can include plants, air, dirt, water, sunlight, and many other things that are not alive. When you get to your special spot, Close your eyes. What do you hear? Are there insects buzzing around? 
Are the leaves rattling in the wind? Do you know the names of some of the birds that are calling out? What else do you hear? What do the tops of the leaves feel like to you? What about the bottom side? Or flower petals? Or sticks? Or dirt? Or anything? Do they feel soft? Smooth? Fuzzy? Rough? Prickly? Bumpy? Or do they feel like something else? What do you smell? Grass? Flowers? Dirt? The yummy dinner that your next door neighbor is cooking? What do you smell? Again, you can find this table on the student template in Seesaw to organize your observations. Don't forget to include at least three observations you made for hearing, three observations for touching, and three observations for smelling. And also, please do your best to be as descriptive as possible. Best of luck, scientists, and have fun doing science!